Today, we'll be discussing this, the Orbit Key. If you are a serial researcher like me, you have inevitably come across this brand in your search for a neater, quieter, and more organized way to carry your keys. I've been using mine for the better part of two years now, so today I'll be going over the pros, cons, and quirks, and whether or not I recommend you get one yourself. This video is not sponsored, but if you do want to check out the Orbit Key, I will have it linked down in the description below and in the top comment. Starting off with build quality, the Orbit Key has held up very well through years of use. All of the stitching is still intact, the leather has smoothed out and softened over time, and because of the finish, it is surprisingly free of any scuffs or scrapes like I've collected on many of my other leather everyday carry items. This can be seen as a positive or a negative depending on how you like your leather goods to wear, but in the color I picked, I do prefer the clean, slightly polished appearance. Despite this type of product having existed for many years, placing this organizer on a table still gets a significant number of people asking about it. It's simply a form factor that seems to make sense. And one surprising outcome of switching that I noticed was an actual change in my behavior. For example, I often carry my keys in the same front pocket as my phone now. Whereas before, this would have not only been uncomfortable, but also risked scratching either the screen or camera lenses on my phone. In terms of assembly and capacity, the Orbit Key is advertised to hold between two and seven keys, which quite frankly is a pretty useless spec because I'm not sure what two keys would be thick enough to fill this. In my experience, the sweet spot for the Orbit Key is gonna be somewhere between four and seven. Any fewer and you won't be able to tighten it enough to keep them from moving around, any more and you won't be able to securely close it. In my particular use case, I have two keys, one for my house and one for my mailbox, as well as two fobs on each side, and it's pretty much maxing out the capacity. However, it's worth noting that the fobs do still work perfectly fine in this configuration if that's something that you are considering. My main gripe with the Orbit Key is the ease of accessing just one key at a time. No matter how many times you practice, it is really a two-handed job, and if you try to do it smoothly with one hand, odds are you're gonna get more than one key at a time. Even the official videos on the Orbit Key website make the process look a little bit awkward. The benefit of the keys being held this tightly is that once you do get one out, the whole assembly is still fully rigid, which acts as a really nice handle when you unlock whatever you are using it on. Overall, I've been really impressed with the Orbit Key, and other than that slight awkwardness of reaching the middle keys in your assembly, it's a product I would easily repurchase if I happen to lose or damage this one. Again, if you want to check out the Orbit Key, I have it linked down in the description below. There are lots of different colors and finishes to choose from. If you enjoyed this video, please leave us a like, and even consider subscribing if you want to see some more like it in the future. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.